Hey friends, welcome to One Little Coder. In this Streamlit tutorial, we're going to learn about ST Lite. ST Lite is a serverless Streamlit. It uses Pyodite. I'm not getting into the technical details. But what I'm going to show you is how easily you can build a serverless Streamlit application that can do image blurring. Image blurring just as an example for you to do what you want to do. But the whole point is you don't need server to deploy a Streamlit application using ST Lite, which is a serverless Streamlit. So the app that we're going to build in this tutorial is going to look exactly like this where you are going to see your camera first you need to give access after that then you can take a picture after you take a picture then you can see that uh, i didn't i didn't take a picture while i was smiling so you take a picture then you can change the kernel size and then based on that that uh, image is going to get blurred and then you can download the image so this is what we're going to build is it my own code no of course not so first of all i would like to give a huge shout out to sushia for this uh, amazing streamlit library uh, which is st light please please star the repository if you have not we have already covered this library but since that the library has improved a lot that's why i'm covering it again the second thing is there is an application that you can see here the developer has put together which is called serverless image processing app so the code that i'm using in my tutorial is basically borrowed from this app a very minimalistic version of this so again please give a shout out they also have a buy me a coffee page so if you want to sponsor the uh, developer please please uh, please do it to encourage them start the repository so let's get started with the code uh, so the end application is going to look like this and i again i already told you that you don't need a server which means you can even deploy this wherever you can deploy static web applications like github pages i've got my vs code application like vs code visual studio code is the editor that i'm going to use and i'm going to take you through the vs code uh, code so this code has two parts one is an html code second one is uh, python code and you can see this this extension itself is the dot html and once you have the code in place um first few things are like very basic uh, html rituals you know you've got a doc type um, you open the HTML tag, then close the uh, like somewhere here, close the HTML tag. Then you've got the head tag. Within head tag, you have got a certain meta information for making it uh, responsive. Um, the thing that we can you know pay attention is uh, like for example, serverless streamlit image blurring app title and the meta meta just uh, directly borrowed from uh, sushia's app uh, which is a serverless streamlit application with open cv so all these are very trivial things i would say the main story starts here so first of all in the body you have got a root uh, sorry you have got a div called root so you have got a div and then after that you are sourcing the streamlit stlight.js stlight.js is actually doing the main job which is the web assembly compiled version of streamlit which means you can run this on any web browser without having to have a server so that's the whole concept here like it's very similar to the PyScript concept now you open the script tag inside your body and once you open the script tag you have to write entire python code your streamlit code inside this setup so which is stlight.mount the first thing is you're going to define what are the libraries that you want to use in this streamlit application st light application so the libraries is something that you need to keep in mind that you cannot use any library that you want so this library has to be supported by pyodide so you can go to pyodide website and then see what are the libraries that pyodide supports at this point for example in the very recent release of pyodide opencv got supported and that's why this new demo is available and i'm also making a new video so make sure that the library is supported by pyodide even if you are building your own wheel just check with pyodide how it is enabled if it supports if it is a pure play python application like python library you know pure python library would be most likely supported so you can add it so add these libraries so that when the application is loaded these libraries get installed the next thing is what is the streamlit file that you want to run in this case our streamlit file name is streamlit underscore app dot pi so we are going to stick to the same name then we are going to create the streamlit file or files where we can create write all the python code inside this html and that is going to open um, in a very JSONish syntax and then you have got the key which is a file name and then you have got the value which is now the python code now you are not new to streamlit python code so you i mean like we have made tons of tutorials on this channel about it but again to quickly show you what is happening here first we are importing um, certain libraries um, the the key key one is streamlit again 
and even though you install um, i mean sorry you don't have to install streamlit light um, that's something that you need to keep in mind you don't have to install basically any library but what i wanted to say is even though you're referring st light js uh, when you are using the python library you're going to call streamlit directly so that's uh, that's something that you need to keep in mind but you, there is no installation you don't have to install anything you can literally take my code open it on your mobile browser you're basically running streamlit on your mobile browser without having a server so it, it works the second thing is numpy for a numerical processing cv uh, open cv for a um, like computer vision processing matplotlib just to display the image and then uh, we are creating an empty object called bytes data which is ultimately what where we are going to read input data and then store it next is we are going to use streamlit's camera input um, method which is going to help us to take the picture so the picture that we took is using camera input after that we are going to take the picture value and then store it inside bytes data just a validation step we are going to check whether bytes data is available if bytes data is none which means something has gone wrong maybe you have an image upload feature image has not been properly uploaded then we are going to stop the application let us say that that did not happen going forward we are going to read the image uh, i'm not getting into the cv details we have to read the image display the size of the image then we are going to say that we are going to transform the image and this is where we have got the kernel slider so kernel is the kernel is like kernel size is the value that helps us control the intensity the blurriness of the blurring that we want to do and you can see that uh, we have uh, a slider streamly slider where we have values from 1 to 10 increments by 10 and then uh, we can see k size is the object where we capture the value the next thing is we want to blur uh, cv2.blur as simple as that input image and then the kernel size and then we have got the output image now the output images um, like initially you can see that we decoded it now we have to further encode it in dot uh, png format and the encoded data is stored here and then finally you can display the image even without matplotlib you can use st dot image just to display the image use using the bytes data and then you can also enable a download button and that download button can um, download this data i mean you can basically download an image with the dot png extension that's it now at this point you are going to close your curly braces close uh, sorry did i say curly braces curly code and then you have to close your curly braces close and then you're going to say document dot get element by id root which means basically whatever you have put together here you are going to fit it inside root and uh, that's it you close the script tag close the body tag close the html tag. that's it your streamlit application is done quickly to summarize start the part where you have got html tag open a hit tag open very basic aid information uh, title description meta information once you close that come into the body tag create a div for a uh, root it's like a placeholder where we're going to write all the content then refer or source the streamlit light javascript um, the module then you are getting into the script part which is ideally where you write the javascript but you are going to write here a python script which is uh, stdi.mount and you are going to say um, what are the libraries that you want what is the file name that you want to run and what are the files that you are going to create and you are going to use this to create the entire file and you have to close everything and then finally uh, do like a very simple dom um, which is to get uh, element by id which is a root and then you are closing the script and at this point you have a very nice application here so let me let me refresh it so that you know how much time it actually takes and i just now refreshed it it's going to take a couple of seconds because as you know all these modules are getting loaded when you open it for the first time once this is loaded we're going to take a picture um, most likely a picture of me smiling um, i don't know the quality of smile maybe maybe, maybe we should we should build a streamlit light application that would um, that would evaluate the quality of a smile like how much a person is smiling like is fake smile versus um, you know a genuine smile i'm also doing a fast ai course so it'll be really interesting so i've got the i've got the application loaded i think it took a couple of seconds um, now take a picture this is different not smiling that's okay anyways let me smile take a picture and then you change the kernel so you can see you're um, you're changing the value you can go from nothing to completely blurred so you can do it and then click the download and then it's going to save the image for you that's it as simple as that as cool as that um, if you have any question please let me know in the comment section otherwise please give a shout out to sushia for uh, this amazing application and also like i said the code that i've used is the example that the developer has put together developer also has a buy me a coffee page 
please go and support them if you're going to use it commercially um, otherwise uh, i hope you stay safe i hope this video tutorial was helpful to you see you in the next video